he steps it. Watch how he rotates in. See how rotation? That's a key to getting more power out of the throw. Okay? Okay, guys, let's look at uh, a, a great throw here is Osoto Toshi. It's a very powerful throw. <laughs> and a great way to think about this is it's, uh, it's a Taito Toshi to the rear. That's the best way to think of it. And I'm going to have Mike uh, throw Jake here in a second. But let's, let's go through the, the motions of it first. Okay, when you're doing it, uh, you know, it's a step. It's, it's, I'm going to be stepping in this way. And so it's kind of part Osoto Gari Taito Toshi. Really what it is, how we're gonna do it. So what, what Mike's gonna do here in a second is he's gonna he's gonna pop it up and he's to pull down. But the basic way is we're gonna pop up and step in, you know, like this, because it's it's a tie toshi to the rear. Okay? Now some people will pull it down and that works really well too. But for the basic you know setup, here it is. So pop them up, set up here, and set your power hand here, your surite on the on the sleeve right here for the uh, lapel, and pop them up like this. Okay. And so it's going to be, you're breaking his balance to his right rear corner, to my left front corner, like this. And I step in, just like this, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to drive my foot through, and instead of hooking his foot or reaping his foot, I'm going to simply just plant it on the mat. Now, some people will plant it and just stomp down like that, and some people, like Mike, he extends his leg a little further, and he really uses his leg to throw the opponent over the leg. You know, come through like this. It'll look very much like a Tai Toshi to the rear. Can you do that? Up? So can you do it without the, to just do a good break fall without the crash pad. Now, when, when you see this, now, watch how Mike will do it like that. See that? And when he steps in, it's a very powerful throw. Okay? So that's why we like the crash pads. So let's go ahead and use the crash pads. Then. So, and, Joe, if you can get a haircut from the angle from that side there, Joe. Now, when he steps in, he steps in, and see how that, and shoots. Now, when Mike shoots his foot, plant the toe down. Some people will plant the foot like this. Injury could happen to you and to him, mainly to you. So plant your toe just like, like, like uh, Mike is here, and, and you can see how he drives it in. So watch he steps in, and okay, do it at normal speed, just step in and toss. Watch a big step in. Man. Now, here's one thing that Mike does that a lot of people don't catch, that everybody who does this correctly is doing it right, that is doing it right. A lot of people don't catch. You're not throwing it straight back. When you're stepping in, when you shoot, you're kind of rotating your body. But watch how his shoulder rotates and drives Jake into the van. See how he rotates? He finishes out, he, he goes terminal to the man. He's just slamming it. Because now he can set him up right into a, an Osakomi throw. You can finish and stand there like that, that'd be great. You could. But often in a real situation, you're probably going to end up in a transition from a throw right into an Osakomi situation. So come out with, without, come off the man just a second. Now look again when he steps it. Watch how he rotates in. See how rotation? That's a key to getting more power out of the throw. Okay? Now let's go back to the pad, crash pad again. Come on again. When he steps in, there you go. Now a big step, you can, you notice when Mike is stepping, he's stepping in really wide out like this because he's giving his hips room to move in. So this time when he does it, watch how he steps out wide, he gets his hips room and then he shoots just across behind him. So you can see that. Now you can sweep it, you know, and sweep your legs. It'd be kind of an Osoto Garuma. You know, kind of a, a wheeling action. But by planting your foot, do this, you get a lot more power as you rotate in. So just one more time, and then we'll come on, go for further. Okay? Simple stuff, but simple works. Again, just because it's simple doesn't mean it's simplistic. It means there are not a whole lot of moving parts here to screw up on, really. And it's, it's a very powerful throw. One time, uh, one of our really good athletes in past years, Ken Cabine, uh, used this in a, in a judo competition, 
and it was a clean pawn throw. He knocked the guy out cold. You know, and it was on a, a regular tatami mat, too. It was a good mat. So it must have been a lot of power generated in that throw. And I'm glad it wasn't that poor guy that got knocked out cold, because this is one of those kind of throws. If you use it in a self-defense situation, you're, you're, you're probably going to win that fight. So, you know, so anyway, any questions on how to do that, guys? All right, let's give it a try, and we'll maybe just add a few things on if we think we need to. Let's, let's, let's practice this. Guys, just some points on the Osoto Toshi here, and I think Mike's got a really good point here he'd like to make, so shout that out to everybody. Uh, one thing I like to do is I really like to emphasize this. this I prefer the downward motion as opposed to this motion for the Kazushi. And what I like to focus, because I feel like when I get here, I've got so much kazoosh, even if the guy's my height, because I'm really emphasizing that turn when I'm stepping into it. And between that and the plant and the hip drop, I really get a lot of power driving into it. Granted, I have to fall into it, but I feel like I'm uh, uh, in a good pain situation. Turn around here. So, Joe, you get that. What we want to focus on here, this is a great point, guys, because he's really steering him with his hands. And Mike does this. He's quite good at this, so that's why I want to have him show this stuff. Uh, so, like I showed you, pull out, he checks it down in, kind of like a standard Osotogari. But watch what he does with his hand as he steps in, watch his hip too. See, how, see this? Bam. See how he actually almost throws him over his hip too. I mean, that's a powerful throw. Okay, can you throw him on the crash bed now? I'm sure he'll better. See that? So when he shoots his leg behind, he's going to extend it far like that. Some of you guys were shooting it a little closer, but that's fine if that works for you. Okay, everybody's a little bit different. Okay, but when he steps in, he's got big movement and he drives it, and you notice that hit. Point that out again one more time when you're coming in on Jake here. So here, here, get that spin that really drives it into the ground. And it also takes his balance away, so good position. Yeah, yeah. So he, he's modified it, you know, the standard way, you know, generally it's on is to pull out like I showed you guys. But notice he's stepping in like this, and notice when he does this, it's an angle, there's a lot of room here, so he can shoot that leg through. And that's why he's doing that, pulling down and using this you know, action here. So the, 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 the hikite, the pulling hand, is going straight down and kind of sucking him in, and the surite, the, the, you know, the, the hanging hand, the lifting hand, is driving and almost lifting him over. It's, it's, he's doing a circular type movement. One more time, I know Jake was. Well, and probably, and another, I know what Eric goes through. Another reason I kind of like it is because I can modify that grip and, and switch to a no gi situation. So if I've got a collar tie, I can do the same sort of oh, motion yeah. and drive their elbow and jump. Well, that'd be perfect for no gi. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, that, I get a collar and have an elbow tie. Yeah, perfect. Okay, want to try that again? So you see how he shot that hip in there? Let's give it, let's give that. Let's look at this Osoto Toshi, and let's, it's a little powerful style that we're going to show here. You're going to use a Serenagi type grip. Okay, so basically you're coming in, you're Serenagi Toshi, you're going to even pull down, but what you want to do is you want to slip this arm under. You want your fist up, elbow down, and just chuck that in tight. You just crank that in tight, shoulder to shoulder, and what you're going to be doing is when you're coming in like this, you're going to shoot and then throw them. It is like Seoyanagi to the rear. It's a Seoyo Toshi, but to the rear. So it's, it's a variation of Osodo Toshi, but you can put the one arm Seoyanagi grip into it. So Mike's quite good at it, so I'm going to have him, uh, without killing the guy, yeah, let's, yeah, with that. So what I want to show you, so you can see the full movement off without the crash pad. See that? Man, so it's a very powerful throw. It's like Seoyanagi to his backside. Again, it's a good contest throw, but it's a great self-defense throw, guys. It really is. See, it almost looks like a say now you doesn't, because when you shoot your leg through there, watch Mike does it. He's actually throwing him pretty much over his leg and his extended buttocks here, too. So it's not just a leg throw. So you see, it's a very powerful variation of Osoto Toshi. And it's just Osoto Toshi with a Ippon Suenagi grip. And the reason we like the Ippon Suenagi grip because you're really isolating on this whole side here, this whole shoulder. My right hand, my left hand, we're two, doing the two-on-one action of controlling this guy. 
This is also quite good if we're grip fighting and I get this grip here and I have a, a lapel grip and I can do the same thing here like this and trap it. So you can use this as, as you, as you, in addition to this, but for practice right now, let's just use a sleeve grip. We're coming in. Again, if you want to pull down, the only thing when you do pull down, just make sure you've got room to get your arm through it. Okay? Some people like to pull up, they get, it opens it up, they get the arm through it, that's great. But you can see what Mike's doing here, he's coming in like this, real tight. And when you get that tight, when you shoot rotation, it, it's, it's, again, it's a Serenagi throw, kind of Osoto, Otoshi, and Serenagi as well. One more time, just to... Okay. And watch how he's, the whole body rotation when he throws. There you go. So it's a little bit of each. A little bit of Osoto Otoshi, a little bit of Serenagi to the back side. So call it what you want, it's just a great throw. Okay? Well, let's practice it, gentlemen. There are a lot of ways you can do a Soto Toshi. We're just showing you several of them here. Now, this is a particularly good if you've got a guy who's bent over and real crouched, doesn't want to engage, and, you know, I, I can't get my hand over here. He's blocking it away. So all I've got is this near side, okay? So that's, that's the situation. And, you know, he, he, he might be a wrestler or a, or a Sambo guy or something, or, you know, BGJ guy is very quite low, and his hips are far out, okay? So here's a really good way to catch him with an Osoto Toshi. Go ahead and get your grip here, just like we had before. Control the, control the sleeve and arm here. Now we're going to do a, a, a Georgian grip, and we're going to come on the near side. And him being this low, it's giving me a nice alley to go over here. And, and I'm not going to go down this way, straight down his back. I'm going to go across his back. And if I can't get his belt, I'm going to certainly grab his jacket. Okay? But I'll try to get his belt if I can. So where he's, he's real low like this, and he's, he's suckered in. Now in this case, I am definitely going to chop it in. I'm not going to pull because he won't let me. It just won't work very well. So I've never seen it work really well when you try to pull a guy from this position. So we're like this, and he, he's just really low crap. Uh, catch it. You may have to work a little bit, but if you can catch that belt, all the better. You know, don't you know, get the belt, whatever. Or the jacket. But try to get the belt. Now notice it's not here because when I do this throw, well, yeah, you can catch me. When I do this throw, I don't want to land on my shoulder. I want to land on him. He's going to be my crash pad. So when I'm fighting here, we're working here, you know, it's, 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 it's square. So if he's squared up with me, I want to get to the angle out here. See, like this? Because here's my alley. So catch it like this, and when I do, then I can just chuck it in and step and throw. Now when I throw, that's why we're working up this point, you want to rotate the body. Because I don't want to land on my shoulder. I want to completely rotate him over where I'm landing on him. Mike will be doing this here. So watch this. Can you... Without killing the guy, without doing it on the pad first. So watch when he comes in, crosses over, so he catches that, and when he steps in, he rotates. Yeah, and he held up, but he didn't land on the guy. That's great, because he didn't want to hurt Jake. Now, the crash pad, you can really go full bore on it because you got nice padding there. So watch when he steps across. See how he rotated? You don't want to land on your shoulder, you want to rotate so deep. You're landing on him. So he's the crash pad, really. But see, it's an Osoto Toshi. Okay? Now, in a real situation, when the guy's, you know, he's, he's, you know, you may have to work for this. You, but in any case, I don't want to be square on with him when I try this. This is not going to work from here. Okay? I've got to be at an angle. So when I'm working here, I want to work to the angle. He may, he may try to pursue me, he may come around and try to pursue me. If he does that kit, I can catch it then and step and then do it. You can even do like a Harai, harai Goshi or, you know, maybe Mosoda Dario. But if you want to step, play it. So it's a very powerful throw. One more time. So you that angle. See, I catch it and step. And there you go. So it's really a Georgian grip. The Georgian grip is very effective. Uh, you know, it's based on Cheetah Oba, the Georgian style of grappling. And the idea of the Georgian grip is this. You never want to lean forward. I don't want my shoulders ahead of my hips when I do the Georgian grip. Okay, so if I have to lean over forward to him, I'm as vulnerable as he is, actually. So when we're doing this and we're fighting, I want to make sure if I'm going to catch this grip and throw with this particular move, 
I want to make sure that my angle is correct. And when I do this, I'm going to reach in and I want to pull him into me. I want to make sure his shoulder is in my armpit here. That we're set, set in like this. And now we're hooked on tight. And now I can step and shoot. You notice when Mike is doing this, he's not reaching over. He's bringing, he's sucking Jake into him a bit. So you want to fill his shoulder into your armpit. So watch when he does this. He doesn't lean forward a lot. Step, step, there you go. So that's Osoto Toshi with a Georgian grip. This just shows you can use pretty much any type of grip and do Osoto Toshi. It's that versatile of a throw. So we'll finish out with that. How's that, guys? Okay? It's good.